Hey guys, Ali's Tech here, and today we are talking about my home theater setup, which um, it is in it isn't in my living room. However, it is in my front room. All right, so um, I'll show you the main bit here, which is of course where everything plugs in. I can't show you the behind because it's on the TV stand, but I can show you here, the front of it. Um, we do, it, of course, it is a DVD player. And open and close, and it has a center speaker, which you know, which you can also wall mount. Volume here. You got a remote with it, and um, you can also plug headphones into here. Three point five millimeter headphone jack. And so we've got a standby on button. We've got play slash function. We've got um, a pause and everything. We've got a stop. We've got tuning for the radio or just a next button. Right, we've got a center speaker here. And then um, I'll just show you the um, this front left speaker, which is, this is a 5.1 home theater setup. And so this is a speaker here. All right, so that's that's the thing here. All right, and I've got an, I've got another speaker here, and I've also got this 300 watt subwoofer. I think every speaker is around. 150 watts or 300 watts. Um, this is a very powerful subwoofer. So powerful that I keep it at zero and it still provides more than enough bass. All right, so um, we've got another speaker here, which I'll show you. Another 150 watt or 300 watt, I'll just check. They're all the same speakers. This is the rear left one. Oh, as you can see here, it's 140 watts. I'm sure this home theater system is around 10 years, much more than 10 years old now. It's like 12, 11 years old now. And uh, this is the first speaker here. So uh, we'll just return back here. It is still quite pricey. I think it goes for still in 2018 for around 200 300 pounds for the whole setup on ebay all right um this is a replacement remote that i got because i love the original one um of course we're going to keep the volume low here volume at six i can't play any other video apart from my own due to copyright reasons so um here we go i'm on youtube here let me just turn the TV volume all the way down. It is connected by Scott. Hey guys, because it's so old. Here, about this we can hear the center speaker here. It has many sound modes. Let me just turn the volume. All right, so it has many sound modes here. We've got studio, we've got club, we've got hall, we've got theater, we've got church, we've got movie, we've got music. And we've got Matrix, which is what I like to use. Because it, it, it's just basically, the sound is coming out of every speaker. If I'm not using that, I'm using the original one, which is Bypass. Which um, like switches according to like, if there's another person speaking or something. Alright, so um, the sound is coming out of every speaker here. The lightning port, it went from 13 to 18. Alright, so that's what you can see here. They're quite tall. One good thing is that um, like you don't need to power them in, you don't need to plug them in. However, it is a wired connection and it does have to come from the home theater setup. I've got mine running across the floor and everything. So I've got this running on YouTube on the TV. It does just connect to the TV via SCART. I'll you show you here. The beam coming off that one. This is grey cable. Uh, so Alright, so um, I'm going to a video that I think has uh, music in the background. You have to see. Hey guys, Alex Tech here. Today we're talking about this iPhone no. 10. Um, This is a smart TV and that's what YouTube's running on.
That's our matrix. Show you this around. Hey guys, Ali's Tech here, and today we are talking about this UAG iPhone case that I just put on my new phone. The volume's on 12, it does um, go up all the way up to 40, which just blasts the whole house. Um, 12 pretty much blasts the whole house, actually. Hey guys, Ali's Tech here, and today we are talking it is quite about loud, this bulky see. power bank that I did the an unboxing of a couple of weeks ago. So, um, I have had a chance to use this a couple of times. And um, um, I'm just turning this off here, so you can hear us. All right. So what we've got here. Don't know if you can see because it is dark. Lighting in this room is very good. Okay. We've got an XDS, a DIVX, whatever that means. We've got MP3 for CDs. We've got Windows Media. We've got Progressive Scan. We've got JPEG compatible. Got digital, we've got Adobe Digital, we've got Compact Disc, we've got Compact Disc, another one, Digital Video, Digital Audio, we've got CD RDS or whatever that is. And then we've got DVD, Video Slash Audio. Right. So this is an LG Home Theater setup. Um, I can't tell you the model number because it's somewhere underneath the box or something. Right, but um, if I just move the speaker, you can see here. I can't see because it's too dark actually. So um, that'll be the video guys, thanks for watching, Ali's Tech, subscribe, like and share, and I just turned it off, why are you moving that speaker there? Alright, I can tell you the model number here, it's an LT H550, no LHT550, that's what the model number is, thanks for watching guys, Ali's Tech, subscribe, like and share, hope you enjoyed the video.